Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video I've got a first impression for you on two products. One being the most precious palette in the whole wide world at the current moment and that is the Naked Heat palette. I've been wanting one of these for ages and it's actually probably the quickest I've ever bought a makeup product since it's come out and uh, yeah this is amazing really. It comes with 12 colours and they're all here. Just beautiful um yeah i really like them the only thing that i'd say is a bit not disappointing but um yeah i'd prefer if they had some gray shades because if you think about it like it's inspired by fire but there's no smoke coming off the fire but anyway it's eyeshadow emma stop complaining so i'm gonna be taking inspiration from cartlease's video cartlease one i think that's how you say it she's an amazing youtuber with incredible talent to say well incredible talent in general really but she has just overcome a brain surgery and she's just amazing at makeup like considering what she's been through it's mind-blowing so i'll leave a link down below and you can go check her video out and see i'm gonna do compared to her i'm gonna do oh dear a terrible job but yeah i'll leave that there anyway and i'm also gonna be trying the Too faced better than sex mascara i've been wanting to try this for a ridiculous amount of time like seriously i'm so glad i finally got it and probably gonna have to throw my other mascara in the bin because this is gonna be my only one from now on can you focus on that please oh you're not touch screen are you are you are you touch screen there we go yeah so used to my other camera so yeah that is like i'm so happy i'm really excited for today's video so let's get started so well, i don't know why right okay i'm gonna start with the base using my naked urban decay concealer why are you running out oh my god you're proper running out i need some more no this is the first time proper running out i ah, didn't expect that i'm just gonna dampen the beauty blender using my new look thing i always forget to dampen it with water so i just use this and it works the same Now taking the Barry M's Chisel and Cheeks palette, just taking the lightest shade and I was just coating that over my eyes. So I've got the video up and now let's just get into the video. So we're starting off with Low Blow, which is that caramelly colour there. I'm going to do both eyes at the same time, that is such a nice colour. Oh my God. Well not both at the same time because I'm not that skilled, but you get what I mean. Too far low down there. Now she's taking that deep ready colour, not the plum but the one next to it. Although I do like that plum, I might use that one soon. Okay. Just try to use the same brushes that she's using, so if you watch that video you'll know what I'm using. Not the same brushes, but you get what I mean, like similar ones. And I'm already doing a worse job than what she's doing. Okay, she's cutting a crease now. I always mess up at this bit. I am going to be fixing this bit here. I know it looks a bit intense, but hopefully it'll look alright when it's all done. really short I couldn't tell exactly what she was putting on that bit there then so I know that she's putting glitter on top so I'm gonna go ahead and put from the sleek palette I'm gonna put the that top shade there comes a bit more pearlescent which is what I want I 
have a feeling that this eye is going to come out a lot better than that eye. So I'm just putting some glitter primer on and then do the other eye after because I don't want it to dry. A bit more intense than I thought that. But anyway, whatever. My dress is covered in glitter and I'm only wearing it for this video. Wonderful. I'm not putting any more on than that because that is intense but I am going to blend the eyeshadow in don't worry she's using pink glitter but I don't have any pink glitter and this is like holographic glitter Okay, so she's done with the eyeshadow and that's the only reason I watched that video really. The rest in mine. This is where it all goes downhill, probably. Right, okay. So I'm going to be taking the sleek palette and using the highlighter that we used first, which was that one there. It's going to highlight in my inner corner and my brow bone before I forget. Because I always forget that. I mean, I don't think we really need any highlight because it's so intense, but you know. I also need to do my brows because the eyebrow hair is doing me a in. It's gonna curl my lashes. So what do I think? I think, I don't think I picked the right, like it looks incredible on her, but the colors don't really blend well together on me like you can barely tell the difference but I do love I think they're very pigmented and they're good to apply like on themselves like by themselves but yeah I'm gonna look at some of the rest of the colours when I finish this video I'm gonna when I've actually finished this clip I'm gonna go ahead and just do a swatch video for you so I can include that in this video but now on to the mascara so I've just curled my lashes Oh my gosh. The brush is like so soft. And it makes your eyelashes like really full. Not necessarily longer, I don't think. Because I am, like before this, I was currently using the. That looks like I'm wearing false lashes, like it's so full. What mascara were I using before? This is oh, last sensational mascara, which is this one here. So that one is a really good drugstore mascara that's also hyped up. And prior to this, like I'd just use that and like it's in, it's amazing. But like this one, I'm so impressed with. I don't want to talk about that one anymore because I love this one. And I can't even tell you how light the brush is on your eyelashes. Like I've never used anything so lightweight. Like the actual mascara is quite heavy and the handle of the wand is quite heavy, but it's so light on your eyelashes. I'm just gonna do my face off camera and I'll get back to you when I've done my face for a final conclusion and a swatch. Alright guys so I've just finished up my foundation, bronzer, contour, blusher and lipstick. The lipstick that I've used is the Body Shop in Windsor Rose. This is my go-to lipstick. I just love this shade so much. It's always in my handbag and I thought I'd just Go well with this look and yeah I fixed it up a bit so I really like it now I'm so happy with my purchase I didn't know what I was gonna say then so I'm now gonna go ahead and leave you with some swatches of the Urban Decay heat palette but if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already I make videos every week I'm not gonna say which days because you know I'm all over the place at the moment but next week is my final week in England so there will be some Disney themed videos going up next week and there's gonna be no schedule for next week's videos so yeah but there's gonna be more than two hopefully and yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye